players within the investment space have called for increased due diligence on the part of Ghanaians to ensure they don't fall prey to unlicensed investment schemes in the country. The remarks come on the back of a new caution notice from the Bank of Ghana about an impending launch of a cryptocurrency investment scheme named CDCoin. Now, there's more in the following report. According to the central bank, neither the cryptocurrency investment scheme CDCoin nor its promoters have any approval from the Bank of Ghana to operate in the banking and payment services sector. The new notice further advises the general public to exercise caution with regards to trading in cryptocurrencies and other unregulated investment schemes. The Bank of Ghana further cautioned all regulated institutions, including banks, specialized deposit taking institutions, dedicated electronic money issuers, and payment service providers, to desist from facilitating cryptocurrency transactions and unlicensed investment schemes through their platforms or agent outlets. The latest notice adds to a number of others issued by the central bank this year, warning the public to desist from similar schemes such as Freedom Coin and a money doubling scheme operating in the country under the name BitCash Currency Exchange. In an interview with City Business News on the proliferation of unlicensed investment schemes in the country, CEO of the Data Bank Group, Mr. Kujua Diamensa, reiterated the need for the public to stick to regulated investment schemes. You also have your responsibility. There's so much the regulator can do. Yes, maybe it's, it, they can go a bit more than just issuing a warning or issuing a guideline. But oh look, there are how many Ghanaians, 30 million Ghanaians spread across 16 regions. Uh, the, the central bank cannot be everywhere all the time catching people, prosecuting. Our court process is not as swift. So the reason I say we both have responsibilities is that you also, as the investor, when you are going to put your money into something that is promising a set and return you also need to ask yourself some relevant questions who is regulating you is the central bank aware of you are you properly so licensed you can even demand to see you know we are we are required to put our, our licenses up on, on on our walls it's for a reason you know so you also need to just not because a friend said then you you go in yeah it you would because of the inflationary pressure you may want to go into a riskier quicker higher return i can understand there may be a product like that but it should be properly so regulated and I, and I think if we all stick to regulated products that will give you know a return when or if something even goes wrong you see when something something can go wrong but if something goes wrong and it is properly regulated then the regulator can help you retrieve the money or, or, or do some but if it's not properly regulated and now you go and say central bank you didn't protect me you knew that this was going on but you didn't do anything about it you didn't go and arrest the people it, it's a bit of a, a, a problem for me